Hi, this is Dan from RealMax Software, and welcome to a first look at the Rapid Weaver Elements Beta. Now, we've been working on this for over a year, and as you probably know, things are taking longer than anticipated. But I think that's really just down to the amount of features we're adding, and we really want to push it forward and make Rapid Weaver Elements the best it can be. Now, there's still a lot to do, um, but hopefully this first look will give you a glimpse at uh, where we're headed and how far along we are. Um, so yeah, so you'll be able to follow along the progress in Club Elements and each week and maybe daily sometimes we'll be posting updates on what we're working on and also to get some of your feedback on the features you want to see or how the current features we've implemented are working. Um, so we can really have that tight feedback loop and make sure that Elements is the app that you want to use going forward. So um, let's dive into it. I'm going to close uh, Safari now and let's launch uh, Elements. So here's the new welcome screen in Rapid Weaver Elements. Um, very similar to the old one, uh, updated look and a couple of new little hidden features in there. Um, one being that you can now reveal the uh, file in the finder um, <clears throat> that you're working on. So uh, I'm just going to double click this one here and open up the, this is a sample project we're working on, uh, just kind of a test project in, in Rapid Weaver here. So yeah, so this is uh, your first look at Rapid Weaver Elements. So you can see it looks very similar to Rapid Weaver Classic, um, has all the features you're used to, but there's a lot more to it. now. So we've got the page list over here, uh, very similar to Rapid Weaver Classic again, and this is our editing area. Now you'll notice that as I roll over these things here, they're highlighting. Now these are um, native elements that we've built. Um, they're just in the development phase at the moment. So yeah, you can see as I roll over, I can highlight these things. And uh, let's go into the inspector over here. So as I highlight them, you can get the different options for these. Um, but one of the nice things is, even though this is in edit mode, I can click into here and I can just type just like that and it updates, which is pretty cool. So that's uh, in edit mode here. We're selecting elements and we can work with these and we can just click and uh, update them just like that. And I can go over to preview mode and there it is. So it looks just the same, edit preview, which is pretty impressive. Now these are native elements. So these are not um, stacks that have been converted by developers into elements. And um, this is something that we're developing and developers will have access to make their converted stacks look like this. Um, so while we're still looking at elements, let me show you a couple of other features here. Uh, we have a new search bar. Uh, and we use this in a lot of places in the app. Uh, I call it search, but it's really a filter. So if I just start to type, you can see it live updates there and shows me the pages I need. Um, this is really cool, especially useful on big sites there. Um, and what is also nice, if I select these two pages here, I can group them into a folder. So you can do new folder from selection. Um, Let's call these demo pages there. Um, so the navigation now supports folders, which is something Rapid Weaver Classic didn't do. So now you can have better organization uh, of your project. And you'll also notice I've got these little icons popping up and down here as I scroll up and down. Now this is a quick way to hide and show um, your pages. So this little cloud here, uh, when I highlight it, that denotes that it's not going to be published. So that is a draft page. Um, and this little I here, that uh, denotes that it's going to be hidden in the navigation. So if you don't want a page to appear, to appear in navigation, you can just click those eyes and that would and that would hide it from navigation. And if we don't want these pages published, we would just click the little cloud and there we are. So that's pretty nifty. And this also gives us a quick glance at what is actually being published rather than having, like in Classic, you had to click through all the pages to find out 
um, what, what exactly is you know being published or what is hidden in the navigation but now you can kind of see at a glance um, and I felt found this really helpful when building websites so um, so that is a look at how elements um, works or how they're going to work or how they look in rapidly River elements um, but now we're going to look at what a converted project can look like. So I'm going to close this one down. No, we don't want to save that. And I've got a foundry project here um, because I've got a set of foundry. Oh, that's going to open in classic. We don't want to do that because uh, this is a classic project. So um, I've got a set of foundry stacks that have been converted into, found, into elements. So um, when I drop this onto elements, it's going to ask me if I want to convert the project. And yes, so this is a Rapid Weaver Classic project. And yes, I want to convert it into an elements project. Now, this only works because I have the Foundry elements installed. Um, if you don't have the converted stacks, if you don't have the relevant elements, then the, the converted project obviously wouldn't, wouldn't work so well. Um, but here you can see this has just opened up and uh, it works just like you're used to. So you can see all the, uh, everything's come across. And if I hit preview, that's gonna render the site. Um, there we are. And you can see it looks exactly the same as it does in Classic. So let's stop that now. Um, now, you might have noticed these tabs along the top here. Um, and this one is our resources. So we can just drag and drop resources into here and we can manage them, add folders. This is really nice. So rather than having a separate resources browser, uh, you can just drop them into here and then you can drag and drop them straight into the editor, which is a really nice way of working. Um, now this one here is the page layout. Now this is a big feature. So this is, uh, we also call this the node browser, uh, but it's kind of the page layout really it kind of shows you a hierarchical structure of all your elements on the page um, but it also uh, allows you to edit and move things around so you can see when i click in here the elements are updating as i as i click there and the same vice versa it goes back as well um, and again we've got these nice little icons here and this allows me to hide things just with a click of a button there and again, this is useful because I can see at a glance what's hidden and what's showing. And I can also lock things. Um, and I can also rearrange things as well. So um, let's scroll down here. We've got, these, we've got these headers. And what I can do is I can rearrange things in here. Uh, and you can see a live update there, which is very nice, which is really useful when sites are a little bit fiddly. Um, but what we can also do, I can take this element here and I can drop it over here. So it works and it works the other way. So if I've got this paragraph here and I want to put it somewhere in the page, I can just take that out and drop it there. So it's super, super powerful that. Um, and a nice side effect of having this, um, these elements in the, in the sidebar here is uh, that I can go over to preview. Um, so let's go and pick another page here uh, just to mix things up. Yeah, we'll do that one. So I can go over to preview and I'm previewing this page here and I want to change some of the settings and I need to select the elements on the page. So what I can do, I can go in here and I know these are my, uh, this is my background here and these are my uh, headers and paragraph that we played with before. And so as I select these, you can see the settings updating over here. So uh, say I want to play around with some different backgrounds. So I can do that and I can just make those changes here. Let's change this color. We're going to go for kind of a tealy color there. Uh, let's do that. And we'll make that a bit, uh, we'll go a bit darker on that. And then the same with the headings as well. You know, I can just, uh, I can change the styling, but I can also move these around. Uh, so, you know, if I want to play around with the layout, um, I can do that there, which is really nice because I don't have to keep clicking just to change the look of something. I don't have to keep clicking back to uh, edit mode. I can do it all from in here and even rearrange um, 
yeah, rearrange all the elements. Um, so that is really nice as well. Uh, let's go back over to this one. Um, so uh, we also have the uh, our elements manager here. Now this area is not finished. This is purely, we put this together. So we had a way of um, listing out the elements that were installed and using them and building sites. Um, this is gonna have a big overhaul here and it will feature um, a lot better organization and search and things like that. But for now in this beta that we're using internally, they're just listed out. Um, but yeah, it, you know, it works just as, just as you would expect. You just drag and drop, drop them in the page like that. Uh, and it's super quick. You know, I've got a massive page here. Oops, I've got a massive page and um, yeah, it's, it's super quick just to drag these things around and everything's very snappy and responsive. Um, so those are the main tabs along the top here and we've obviously got settings. Um, not sure if the settings are gonna stay there. We're still working on that. Um, I've got some icons across the top here. Now this is obviously the play and stop button. Uh, we've got, we have all the usual publishing setup that's available in Classic. It's exactly the same uh, for now in Elements. Um, but these things here, this is uh, this little icon here is the theme uh, manager. Now this will be for element themes and it will allow you, it will give you a user interface for changing uh, the look of, uh, look of your color palette basically and all your fonts and things like that um again this is in early development we have it working uh, but we're not you know it's not really ready to show off yet um and here is the uh, data editor now again we have this working and this works with both stacks uh converted stacks and elements but it allows you to build uh data sets and then have them repeated on the page you know you, you might think about products uh, or photo galleries, things like that. Um, so this will allow you to define data and then um, have it rendered in the page. So it takes out a lot of the repetitive work. Again, uh, this is in development, not ready to show this off yet. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, as, we, as we move forward and work on the beta, um, you can, you, you can uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll demo those features. You can have a look and uh, give us your feedback on it. And so there's a lot of exciting things to come that are kind of in the works, but aren't quite ready to show off yet. So yeah, so that's kind of a quick overview of uh, where we are. So you can see things are, you know, we can build websites in Rapid River Elements and things are looking really great. You can publish them. We've got a lot of nice new features in there. And I think these elements are, you know, these native elements really are a big step up from the way you'd previously build websites. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Let me know what you think of what I've shown you so far. It's really kind of, there's so much in this new version and there's so many little tweaks and changes. It's kind of hard to get it all in. And, and you know, when I'm doing these videos, remember all the, all the stuff we, we've worked on. Um, but there it is. Uh, let me know what you think about the new features, what you would like to see, anything you think are missing. Um, just, yeah, let us know. Because, you know, this is a, we're working, we're building this for you. Although we love Rapid Weaver and we want to use it ourselves, that's why we build it. Um, we also know it's loved by thousands and thousands of users around the world. And yeah, we want you to love it as well. So let us know what you think. Um, and yeah, and I'll be back very soon with the next video to show you what we've been working on next. All right, thanks for taking the time to watch this. Really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.